Welcome to the Office 2010 help series with Mary Thomas and Howard Aitken. In this video we're going to look at how the new Excel 2010 header works. So we have a spreadsheet here looking at um, a set of book orders for some students. Um, and we're good. we want to print it out so we want to create a, a nice looking header um, so if we go to insert and header and footer then it gives us um, more like a word version of the header or footer but it's not quite as good as the word version we have three boxes here one on the left one on the center and one on the right that we can type into so I can type into here book orders I can highlight it and make it larger, give it a font size make it bold etc etc um, if I want to type into here it will automatically fill in the cell. Um, the other thing that we can do I'm going to get rid of that um, the other thing that we can do is if I go on to design here if I want to insert a logo then I have to go on to design tab and click picture so I'm going to go and find a picture And to click this monkey and insert that. Now be very aware at this stage um, if I leave it at that and want to have a look at it then that monkey is actually very very big and is probably taking over my entire page. Let me see if I can see that if I view it. Um, you probably can't even see that because I know it's a very big picture and it's taken over the entire page and doesn't fit at all. So what you have to do is you have to, if I go back into my picture, I have to format the size of that picture. So if I click format, you can see here it's 75 centimeters wide and 100 centimeters high, which is rather large. So let me change that to two centimeters and it should yeah, keep the um, size, the dimensions of the of the um, picture in proportion. So if I re oh I didn't want to reset that. Sorry. If I go back and change that to two centimeters and press OK, I press this OK button here. Then now you can see you can see the picture. Okay. So that's really important that you use the um, format picture button on the design tab of your spreadsheet. So if I now go to the footer, if I scroll down and go to the footer, it's not quite as friendly as in 2000 and in Word. Okay, I'm going to click into there again, go on to my design tab, and I can put in my current date and I can put in the page number and then clicking off. Now it leaves you in this view where you can see your header and your footer which is called the page layout view. To get it back to, um, to deal with the spreadsheet, to make it easier to deal with the spreadsheet, um, if you go to view and go to normal view then that will take you back to the normal spreadsheet. So that's headers and footers in Excel 2010. Better than they were, um, not quite so fiddly, but still um, need you need to know the techniques for dealing with them. So thank you for watching. If you have any other questions on Excel, please do contact Mary Thomas from Concise Training or Howard Aitken from Oxfordshire Computer Service.